Hello, I'm Thomas Chapp, Media Arts student at the CTE Academy. Thank you for joining us for this District News Minute. Thanks to the generosity of two nonprofit organizations, the feet of every student at Laura B. Anderson Elementary are feeling just a little warmer during these harsh winter days. Local nonprofit Sioux Falls Thrive recently partnered with Samaritan's Feet International to distribute approximately 380 pairs of shoes to LBA students. Each child was the proud recipient of a Hope Tote, which was a drawstring bag that contained a new pair of shoes, socks, a hygiene kit, and a Hope Note with an encouraging message submitted from Samaritan's Feet supporters. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, an event that would normally be held in person was altered to ensure safe distribution to all students. In addition to Sioux Falls Thrive and Samaritan's Feet, volunteers from other local charity organizations, including the Salvation Army, Asbury United Methodist Church, the Banquet, the St. Francis House, and the Good Samaritan Society worked hard to package and label totes that were then dropped off at the school and distributed by school officials. We are thankful for the kindness of these organizations and their volunteers. The Sioux Falls School District continues to monitor the progress of education-related bills in the 2021 South Dakota Legislative Session. At the most recent school board meeting, board members reviewed the latest details on bills affecting schools in Sioux Falls and decided whether to remain neutral on a bill, if it doesn't affect students in Sioux Falls, or to take a position on each, and what that position should be. The district is currently considering five of the bills still on the floor as key bills and are watching those closely. Additionally, district officials continue to participate in the process in peer by suggesting amendments and offering input on legislation. As bills continue to be amended, killed, or placeholders are revised, the district keeps an up-to-date log of the bills and current positions on the Sioux Falls School District's website. Visit sf.k12.sd.us and hover over the Our District tab and then select Legislative Positions to learn more. And finally, bitter cold temperatures we are experiencing earlier this week have us longing for spring weather. While spring is just around the corner, unexpected winter weather in the late winter slash early spring is usually a guarantee in South Dakota. Make sure you are prepared in the event of a winter-related school delay or cancellation. Parents of students in the Sioux Falls School District will receive a phone call anytime the school schedule may be affected by the weather. The district's website and social media feeds will also have information posted. Additionally, local media partners will be informed of any changes to the schedule. District officials work directly with School Bus Inc., Sioux Falls Police, the local National Weather Service Office, the City of Sioux Falls Street Department, and other community agencies whenever winter weather threatens the school day. As with any decision the Sioux Falls School District makes, student safety will be at the forefront of every weather decision. You can learn more about new initiatives, classroom projects, view fine arts performances and sporting events, and get important information for parents and students by checking out the Sioux Falls School District's cable channel, KLRN your Sioux Falls Classroom Connection on Mid-Continent Channels 20 and 595 or by visiting the website at www.sf.k12.sd.us. Join us each week for more news and information about your Sioux Falls schools. With this District News Minute, I'm Thomas Chapp. Thanks for joining us.